The release of CS2 was the most important and awaited event of 2023 for the Counter-Strike community. From March until September, we experienced a multitude of developments, ranging from limited test invitations to significant changes in the game, including maps, skins, gameplay and many more. We've seen changes to maps compared to CSGO, particularly in terms of lighting and textures, skins now have a way better looking, but there are still some anticipated features that people want to see introduced into the game. Today, we'll address everything we might and might not see in the next updates and all the additions players are looking forward to in CS2. As always, timestamps are in the description, so feel free to navigate through them if you want to skip to a specific part. But before starting this video, make sure to use Skins Monkey. They're an easy to use trading site where you can get new skins. You are able to get up to $5 for free if you use the code QB and also if you use the link in the description or by typing the code QB, you get up to 35% deposit bonus, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. First of all, let's talk about the new operation. As I mentioned in my last video, we might not see one anytime soon. The short answer for this is that we lack short maps, arm race and danger zone, which are all crucial elements. On top of that, there are some important things that need to be fixed before adding such a big event, which I already covered. So, in my opinion, it will take a bit longer until we get a new operation. Next on the list is a new case. You probably know about the Kukri knife, which was leaked a few months ago. In December, Gabe Fowler found different skins for this specific knife in the game files. We have Purple, Tiger Tooth, Damascus, Marble Fate, Ruby, Sapphire, Black Pearl and Phase 1, 2, 3 and 4. This can only mean one thing, we are very close to see this knife introduced into the game, of course in a new case. Keep in mind that the Revolution case was released on February 2023 and the Dreams and Nightmares case was released on January 2022. So in my opinion, we should expect this very soon. Moving further, many players are complaining about the fact that we no longer have right hand, bob AMT and clear the calls comments. To be honest, we don't know the exact reason for this change, it just happened around 5 months ago. There have been more than 3 months since the release of CS2, in which we received many updates. Unfortunately, Valve decided not to add them back, even though they could. Given the fact that they had plenty of time to do so, I don't think they have this change planned for future updates, even if some players left the game because of these removed comments. Zeus skins were a big thing back in the limited test once they added Zeus to the Workshop submission weapon list. This happened around 6 months ago and from that moment the Workshop got filled with different skins. I think there is a possibility to see the Zeus introduced in the next case, but I'm not completely sure about this aspect. There were some speculations that it would be either classified or covered, but we don't know anything for sure. I guess we just have to wait. If this isn't added within the next case, I think it will be added in the first CS2 operation. Earlier we discussed about the new operation and I mentioned the absence of two game modes, Danger Zone and Arm Race. Both of them were removed in CS2 and yet we have no clue about a potential comeback. There is not much to be said here other than the fact that we might see them added back in future updates or they might be part of the next operation. Finally, the biggest problem that is still not fixed after so much time is the anti-cheat. Due to this problem, many players stop playing the game and claim that they will come back after Valve fixes this issue. Their plan is to update the Vag Life system and make improvements as time goes on instead of completely removing it and adding a new one such as a kernel based anti-cheat. All of this being said, that's pretty much all for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe for more CS2 updates and I hope I will see you in my next video.